Let me walk you through how I turned my passion for game development into actual earnings with my game Dash Arena. It's a simple action game where players dash through enemies to earn points. I put in over six months of hard work and over 350 hours to develop this game, and here's how that journey unfolded. First, I want to talk about earnings. This was the first time I ever made money from my game. But to be clear, it wasn't much at first. Just three cents over several months. That's right, just a few fractions of a cent each month. I had to rethink how I was spending and living. I started cutting back on new clothes and realizing that things like water and food can be simpler and cheaper. But after fighting through the year, I finally saw some light at the end of the tunnel. I put in the work and the hours, and now it was time to see if it would pay off. Next came Spider Doll, my other game. I launched it after buying an Apple developer account for $100 and an old Mac Mini for $6. My goal was to earn at least $160 to break even and avoid going into debt. Now, let's look at the download stats. Over one month, Spider Doll was downloaded 105,000 times. That's 63,300 downloads on iOS and 68,700 on Android. That was already awesome to me. But here's where the real earnings started coming in. There were two main revenue streams for the game, ads and in-app purchases. I didn't force players to watch ads, but they could watch one to revive themselves during gameplay. In total, players watched 62,800 ads. I made about $4.50 per thousand ad views, which totals $285 just from ads. On my best day, I earned $20.00. But now it's more like $2 to $5 per day. Now, let's get into the in-app purchases. On iOS, users spent $982 on items like the Golden Doll Skin and Spider Coins. After taxes and Apple's revenue cut, I ended up with $676. On Android, players spent $17.80, which is $2,160. After fees, I got about $10.67, or $1,280. In addition, there's the browser version of the game. On the website, 256,000 people played Spider Doll, and I earned $860.7 or $1055 from that. When I sum all my earnings from Spider Doll, the total comes to $3302. But remember, there are still additional taxes I'll have to pay at the end of the year, so the final amount will be lower. Now, is this a good result? Some might think $3300 is a lot, while others might not be impressed. For me, this is enough to cover about three months of living expenses. So to live off this, I'd need to make a game like Spider Doll every three months. My hourly wage from this project comes out to $9.50, which is below the minimum wage in Germany. If I had worked in a regular job, especially with my master's degree in computer science, I could have made over $12,100 in the same amount of time. But, honestly, I'm really happy with the result. I didn't expect to earn this much, and I owe it all to the players. Finally, looking ahead, I want to expand beyond Germany, where most of my current players are from thanks to my TikTok following. I'll be reinvesting part of my earnings into a global ad campaign to find new players. Plus, I'm planning a major update to Spider Doll inspired by Spider Man, Far From Home, adding new storylines and characters like Mysterio. So that's my journey so far. Thanks for following along and stay tuned for more updates. Join now. Watch and earn up to 5 million tokens every day on Telegram at plusco underscore in.